Summertime has come and gone. Leaves have fallen from the trees. Rain is falling from the sky. Time has come to say goodbye. So goodbye, dear old goodbye friend. This is where the trail ends. You ride on, I'll stay behind. With you. Just uh, sit down and uh, reminisce about the good times we had, because they were the best of times. And thank you for that. Thank you, my friend. I love you, and I'll always be with you, as you are with me. the concert I got this call from Danny telling that Daryl was going was going to die Jesus Christ the concert took place because we discussed it truly Tucker and I and we said, the circle can't be unbroken. So we did a gig. It was one of the greatest gigs I ever saw in my whole life. Sorry. Cowboy hat, cowboy boots. And him jacket for Mexican shrews. How that man can sing, I've got trouble on my mind. It's good to know that he's a friend of mine. He came to Paris from. Portland town Carrying a banjo And playing around But how that man can sing I've got trouble on my mind It's good to know that He's a friend of mine I saw Dear Daryl, lying there looking really bad. And I sat next to him and held his hand, you know, that hand with all the tattoos on. And, and he opened one eye. He calls me Ali, the only person I know who calls me Ali. And he said, uh, oh, hi, Ali, how are you doing? I said, well, I'm fine, how are you? He said, well, not so good. Uh, Got this machine that helps me breathe. I've got diabetes. I've got this metal contraption on my leg. But apart from that, I'm fine. <laughs> and that's typical, Daryl, you know, to come out with that little sparkle in his eye, you know. Well, yeah, it's it's all going wrong, but I'm okay. I won't have no kids no more. I won't have no kids no more. No, I won't. No, I won't. No, I won't. I was born in Portland town. I 
was born in Portland town. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. à la fin pour le chanter joyeux anniversaire, rien de préparé, mais tout le monde en pleure, c'était monstrueux. Quoi. Alors les relations humaines qu'on peut avoir avec cet homme-là, à partir du moment où, euh, où il, vous, il vous prend avec lui, moi il m'a vraiment il adopté le mot peut-être fort, mais en tout cas c'est le sentiment que j'avais moi, ça vous apporte tout, parce que c'est pas que de la musique, c'est pas que des notes, c'est pas que des techniques, c'est une façon de voir le monde. Maintenant c'est le sentiment Peut-être orphelin, c'est un, peu, un peu difficile de ne pas, de pas se dire, même si je ne le voyais pas aussi souvent que j'aurais voulu, je me disais toujours, ah ben je peux, je peux y aller, que ce soit pour la musique, que ce soit pour je peux, je peux aller, je sais que je peux aller. Et maintenant, non. Et ça, c'est ça, c'est difficilement une espèce de, de sécurité, de personne qui plane et qui vous, en, qui vous entoure de, de, de chaleur et d'amour. C'est rare dans une vie de rencontrer quelqu'un qui vous donne ça et sans qui vous demande rien, qui vous donne. I'll tell you something. You know the, for example, when you you're working the stage, and uh, it's the same thing as this. In another, like here, you're alone. You're just working by yourself. On the stage, of course, you got the audience. But what you're doing on the stage is the same thing as this. You're like a conductor of an orchestra. The audience is the orchestra, and you're conducting them. And you do this, and they cry. You do that and they laugh. The whole thing, you get, you build like that, see? Well, it's the same thing with painting. You build here, you build there. It's all, it's all living and dying and breathing and, but this, it, it's, it's the same thing to me. It's the same thing to me. Now let's see what kind of a pink I can get here. fool around here a little bit and maybe turn out to save him. Beautiful face. Well, I hadn't counted on that one. kicking around since 1925 and I ended up here in Antwerp, Antwerp, Belgium. And it's a long story how I got here, but here I am. Well, the curtains of night are back by the stars And the dew drops from heaven kiss the bruise It 
so wonderful in Antwerp, you know. I go to these old places and I can sit there and, and go back, you know, in, in my imagination. And it's like yesterday, really. When the curtains of night are been back by the stars In the beautiful moon to the sky I was born in Dixie in the Boomer Shade Just a little shanty by the railroad train The humming of the drives was my lullaby Freight train whistle taught me how to cry Freight train blue Got him in the middle of my rambling shoes Freight train blue Got him in the middle of my rambling shoes I'm old enough to quit this rambling ride But you can imagine how it could be if the cat was playing it right, see? Because it's like really playing an instrument. Because it can make it like he's doing, but go on. Freight train blue. But further, further. Got him in the middle of the road. Freight train. Most beautiful sound I ever heard, man. Really, no kidding. Especially when you're a little kid going to sleep at night. You know. Oh, no, no. <laughs> How fast it all goes. Because I think of my mother, my grandmother, my dad. Uh, all those times and people, and I realize they're all dead. D E A D. Skeletons laying in a damn box somewhere. They're all dead. They exist in my memory. Daddy was a fireman and my mama dear. My real dad died when I was a little boy, about three years old maybe. Sweetie was a brakeman and it ain't no joke. It's a shame she keeps a poor man broke. She was very beautiful, my mother. Oh, my God, she was so proud of that. And she married George Adams, a real Western gentleman. My grandfather Adams died at 95 when I was 13 years old. And that takes him back to about 1843. I asked him one time, uh, did you carry a, a six gun, you know? He kind of looked off and he said, no, he said, I carried a sawed off shotgun under my coat. <laughs> a sawed off shotgun. <laughs> my grandmother, uh, she came out from Arkansas in a covered wagon to Oregon. They crossed the Atlantic Ocean The boats were made of wood they landed on the eastern shore and saw the land was good. Most of them settled down, settled down. The others pushed on across the Appalachians into the wilderness. Some in wagons, some on foot, with horses for the rest. Most of them settled down. Settled down. The others pushed on across the Mississippi, about a mile wide.
to face. My mother read in a book, uh, there was this dashing, sword swinging, horse riding captain. And his name was Captain Darrell. And my mother and I become Darrell. And maybe in her eyes, in a certain way, Captain. <laughs> And she raised me as a gentleman. That was her ideal. And it was terrible for me because she would just get these pictures of young students in England or somewhere with short pants. And, and that's the way I had to dress. But can you imagine? You're living up in the mountains of Idaho and you got to go to school dressed like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Portland, Oregon in 1925, and it was like the, the last outpost of the Old West. But that was like it was in those days. The whole ideal. Like a woman smoking a cigarette. Good Lord, you know. She must be a prostitute. It was like that. Those 20s and gone up to the 30s was also the time of the Depression. And uh, it was really something. I can remember our cupboards uh, empty. You open the cupboard and there was nothing, no packages of corn or whatever, you know, there was just nothing there, just dishes. It, and I was out selling newspapers and magazines. I don't remember what I got, not very much, but I'd bring the money home and so we, my mother could get a bag of flour. George Adams, he started studying nights to become an engineer and then he got a job on the Bonneville power line. So we started getting uh, enough money into, and we bought our first car, 1930 Chevrolet. And we started traveling from the town to town along the Bonneville power line, and, and uh, then it went on from there. But my home was in the back seat of a car. The most we ever moved, as far as I remember, was 17 times in one year. But it was the saddest thing because you'd make friends and but you know you got a tongue goodbye, and you know you'll never see him again. And that was my trip. My home was the back seat of the car. Then with my heart, I played a harmonica. And I'd sit back there, and some of those melodies that I made up when I was a little boy later turned into songs. <laughs> but they'd always be very sad, because I, you know, tears are dripping in the the sad melodies on the harmonica. Yeah. There's a time when the past is past, filled with things that never last, you know. You know. The freight train's far away cry, becomes a song and there's the sky. Spring always comes again, again. In that old town at Christmas time, filled with kids and they all were crying. They had no place to go, you know. Even now I stop to hear the big freight truck shifting gears to tell me what I want to know, you know. I ended up in the Navy in the war. And the stories were unbelievable, you know. Really, truly, I never, I, there's just, just nothing to say. And, but it just tore me to pieces, just tore me to pieces. There was this one guy, and he said that uh, a black guy was working on the road. And so uh, the black guy knocks on the back door and uh, Father opens the door, and a black guy uh, asks for a drink, if he could possibly have a drink of water, sir. So the, the guy said, OK. And he took his little son with him, who was a, my friend on the ship. And he got his shotgun. 
And he said, I'm going to show you what you do with these black sons of bitches, or whatever he said. And he took him back there, his little boy, and took his gun and shot the fucker off his porch. Bam! And killed him right there for the little son to see that's what you do when one of these black sons of bitches come knocking on your door, see. Well, did, you, did you ever think anything like that in your life, you know? And when I was in the Navy, I never thought of becoming an artist or a painter. My mother was on that kind of thing. But then all I could think about, when I get out of here, all I want to do is just paint. So that's why I went to art.